So let's say you're using photos, but you also want to use Lightroom or you want to switch to Lightroom or you want to do something in Lightroom. And you were shooting in RAW and JPEG, or at least you think you were, and you have all the photos that were imported automatically you know, from a camera into photos. So what you can do is uh, go into photos and you'll notice that um, in cases where you have both the RAW and the JPEG, you'll see a little icon here that shows that you have RAW and JPEG. This one says J, this one says R. That's because right now I'm using the RAW version as the um, as the version um, that I want to use. So when you import them, they kind of stack together because they're, the file names are the, are the same except for the extension. So for example, let's look at this and if I open this up, click the edit button, go to view, uh, and let's see where I keep forgetting. No, I'm sorry, image, and then go to use raw as original. All right now, click done, and you'll notice that the image got a little bit darker, but that's just because I'm viewing the raw image before it was processed, really. And you'll notice now that it says R, and that's because I'm viewing the raw version, and I would be editing in the raw version. So that's how you find out first off if you have a raw image of the uh, or raw file of the image that you're working on. Now let's say you want to move this to Lightroom. So what I would do is I would select the image and then I'd go to file and then I'd say export and go unmodified original for one photo. And I'm going to use subfolder format name, uh, moment name, um, just so that it's easier to find. I'm going to export it. I'll just export it out to downloads. And now um, let's open up in the finder that subfolder. You'll notice that it sent out two files because I had the original raw and the JPEG that was shot by my camera. Mine says CR2. Yours might be something different. I'm using Canon. I think maybe CR2 is just the file format that Canon uses. Maybe others use it, but I have seen there's other file uh, raw image file extensions that um, I've come across and I'm sure you will too. And then you'll notice I have a JPEG version. Okay, so let's say we want to get this into Lightroom. Now I'm going to open up Lightroom, and I'm going to go File. I'm going to go uh, Import. Okay, and then I need to find, there's my directory. And you'll see here that it is displaying to me um, one file, right? Remember, if we looked in the Finder, I got two files, two images. One's the um, RAW, one's the JPEG. And the reason why it's doing this is that the file names are the same except for the extension. That is Lightroom's um, smart way of only showing you one so you're not importing duplicates. So you have a, um, you know, the RAW and the JPEG. That may or may not be good for your use. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. But if you're looking to just make sure you get the RAW image in, then all you need to do is select the raw image and you'll notice that it's the raw image because here it shows the file name with the CR2 extension. If this said JPEG you're only going to get the JPEG coming in. To test this theory what I'm going to do is just uh, cancel out of this. Now I'm going to go to the finder and I'm just going to rename one of the two files, right? So I'm going to go back and let's say file. I'm going to go file import and we're going to find my photos. You'll notice now I see two images, two files. One's this, one's the RAW and one's the JPEG. So it kind of depends on what you're looking to do. Um, if you're looking to do some editing of your RAW images in Lightroom, um, you know, you, you, were, you, you don't need to rename the file so you see two. But if they come across as two different ones, maybe you rename them in, in, um, in photos. Just deselect the JPEG and then go ahead and click import. And now you should have the raw image. And if you select it as a double check to make sure you're getting the raw, look down here, it says one photo, one selected, 344.cr2. And again, that's my extension for raw because I'm shooting with Canon. So I think that's the way um, I would handle just making sure that, uh, first off, that I have raw images in photos how to get the raw image out of photos, and how to then import it into Lightroom. I hope that's helpful.